The autumn campaign is not going well for England head coach Steve Borthwick. England head coach Steve Borthwick has been urged to axe George for just weeks after he was awarded an elite player squad contract. Last month, the RFU confirmed that 17 players had been handpicked to receive an annual £160,000 fee for representing their country, with Borthwick getting the final say on their medical and fitness matters. The deals came prior to England kicking off their autumn international campaign, which has this far yielded consecutive defeats against New Zealand and Australia. And the displays of Ford, who recovered from a torn quad muscle to make selection for both games, have come under real scrutiny. The 31-year-old has produced two airstream cameos, first blowing two chances to seal victory against the All Blacks. With the hosts trailing 24-22 to in the final minute, he struck the post with a long-range penalty before seeing a last-ditch drop goal opportunity drift wide. On Saturday, Borthwick again chose to send him on just after the hour mark, with the crowd responding by jeering the decision to switch the informed Marcus Smith to fullback. And rather than add composure to the ranks, the change seemed to disrupt England's cohesion as the Wallabies sealed a dramatic 42-37 to victory. And now Andy Good, who won 17 caps at number 10 for England, has called for Borthwick to get ruthless and end his ploy of pre-planning substitutions. He is bringing George Ford on at 65 minutes, and the whole crowd is booing, and that is a sign of everyone has been talking about you've got to leave Marcus Smith at 10, he told Jim Hamilton on the rugby pod. At this point we're chasing the game a bit and Marcus Smith at 10. He creates two or three tries, and then you move him to fullback and bring George Ford on. I'm sorry. George Ford's time is up as an England player. I don't think he should be in the squad. He hasn't played enough rugby this year to earn the right. Ford is currently on 96 caps, but will add to that tally if he features in the upcoming matches with South Africa and Japan. Good, however, argued that Northampton's Finn Smith currently represents a more favorable option and also blamed Ford for England's late defensive chaos against Australia, citing an intercepted pass that led to one try for the visitors. Like, last week you're bringing George Ford on to close out the game, and this is a Steve issue and a George Ford issue, he added. This week, with five minutes to go, we have ourselves in a winning position.